Big Ben took on the Alumni All-Stars Saturday. Sean Wells files this report on the women's contest. The Lady Vikings hosted the Big Ben Alumni in an exhibition match. It was a close first half until the Lady Vikings went on a run and took a 41-27 lead into halftime. Lady Vikings passing it around a lot early, trying to set something up. There's Vail on the outside, and she hits it. In the second half, it was all Lady Vikings. Mackenzie Winley finished with 19 points, Aubrey Vail had 11 points and 7 assists, and the Lady Vikings knocked off the alumni 80-47. to Vail finds Winley, pulls up from mid-range and gets the bucket. Tiffany Martinez, a Big Ben graduate of 2012, finished with 10 points and 5 rebounds for the alumni. A nice step move there by Martinez. Charlene Rios, a graduate of 1992, had seven points for the alumni. For Five Hour One News, Sean Wells. The running Vikes alumni game turned out to be another lopsided contest, but it was entertaining. Four players scored in double figures, and the running Vikes beat the alumni All Stars 90 71. The Florida gets the bucket. Moga Ledoux hit seven of nine shots for a team high 20 points. And a nice little post move by Moga Ledoux gets the bucket and one. A.J. Miles added 18, Connor Meyerhofer had 17, and Wyatt Johnson finished with 10. The All-Stars' Jordan Baker, looking like he could still play for the running Vikes, drained a game-high 39 points. Baker hit 13 of 22 shots from the field and was 3 for 7 from 3-point range. Matt Brunel finished with 12. A chance for 3, and that's good. Big Ben opens NWAC East Region Conference play at Yakima Valley Saturday. Gunner Blankenship's three-pointer broke a 60-60 tie with 30 seconds to go, and Afreda got past Grandview 65-60 Saturday. Lloyd Burleson knocked down six shots from behind the arc for a game-high 26 points. Blankenship finished with 13 points, and the Tigers moved to 6-0 in CWAC league play. Afreda is 8-0 overall. The Lady Tigers beat the Greyhounds 59-30 to level their record at 3-3 three three in conference play. Moses Lake boys held off Chihuahua 51-49 at home. It was a back-and-forth, non-league contest that saw 13 ties and seven lead changes. Moses Lake trailed 27-23 at intermission. Both teams were ice cold from the floor, combining for 14 third-quarter points. The Chiefs edged the Riverhawks 19-17 in the fourth to pull out the win. Caesar Sandoval led the Moses Lake attack with a game-high 23 points. Mitch Holman added 13. The win puts the Chiefs at 8-2 on the season. Four players scored in double figures, and Orville rolled past Soap Lake 61-32. The Lady Eagles trailed the entire contest down 17-6 at the end of the first quarter and 32-14 at the break. The boys dropped a close 59-52 game to the Hornets. Soap Lake hosts Warden tomorrow night. Quincy boys dropped a 57-41 game on the hardwood at home to Ellensburg. It was the third loss in a row for the Jacks, who fall to 1-5 in CWAC league play. The Lady Jacks were dealt a lopsided 77-9 loss to the Bulldogs to drop to 0-8 on the season. We'll be right back after this.